Hey guys, this is Death Rider, and welcome to another Zelda Classic Let's Play. I haven't done these in a while. <clears throat> I've been too busy. Uh, I've been worrying about channel growth lately, and that's why I haven't done it for a while. Um, but I decided I, I guess it's fine if I take a little break from that to start my next Let's Play. And I'm, I'm starting to look at the more popular quests, like I look at um, Greatest Hits on Pure ZC. And I found... Um, <laughs> I uh, will be playing this quest called Promised Lands, and I don't know why I do this on the recording. I probably should do it outside of it. Well, no, because then I get to show the creator, created by Jamian, and here we go. I know nothing about this except what's on Pure. Oh, you got that um, channel isolated audio. Nice intro. <clears throat> Let's play Jamian. The first quest Let's Play I've done since I've gotten into heavy scripting in my own quest. Once upon a time, the land of Hyrule, once prosperous and decaying, the soil was drying out. The, fl the flowers here hilted, and the worst of all, the citizens here becoming selfish and wicked. Something terrible was plaguing the land, and the people started blaming the old king of Hyrule for it. A man named Ilska, once kind and idealistic, got fed up with this situation. He overthrew the king by force, hoping to bring the land back to its former glory. But like many before him, Ilska eventually became corrupted by power and grew cynical and paranoid. He could not find a cure for Hyrule as soon, and soon cared only about himself and was no longer concerned about his people. Hyrule became a harsh and dysfunctional di dictatorship. I feel rushed. Hyrule's only hope was an old legend passed between generations, the legend of the Promised Lands. If a hero showed up and collected eight feathers of the legendary rock bird, it is said that the rock, that the rock would appear, <laughs> okay, would appear, I, I don't know, I, I heard the rock, and it's like, oh, Dwayne, appear and take the people from high people of Hyrule to the Promised Lands, a mythical realm where everybody would be happy forever, where everybody would be friends, and where nothing bad would ever happen. Many consider this to be a fairy tale meant to entertain and, and to keep the people hopeful. Nobody had any proof that the rock, I cannot read, had ever really existed or that any part of the legend was true, but a young lad named Link was determined to locate the eight feathers and to find out whether there was still a glimmer of hope for Hyrule. Whoa. Link, I spent many years trying to find the mythical rock. Even though I have never found it, I am convinced that it does exist. I am too old to look for the eight feathers now, but you have to you have what it takes. You may lack experience and equipment, but you have what really matters. A brave and good heart. I know the people of Hyrule can count on you. If you get lost during your journey, try asking old man Ulrira. There there will be there will also be many others willing to help you find them. However, be careful not to run into Ilska soldiers and allies. Press the A button to talk to people or read signs. <clears throat> and now your journey begins. Good luck. Non gridlocked. Nice. Okay. Starting right off, I see, with a block puzzle. So it will, <clears throat> it will probably take me some time to get back into playing this. It has been quite some time. Okay. Got a very different uh, <clears throat> sub menu. Okay. I have not a weapon. But I will have one soon. I assume... Why did I do that? That was unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. Hey, sword. <clears throat> oh, sword beams right off the bat. How nice. Oh, I see. That's why there's a... So he assumed that I would come back this way instead of leaving right away. That's why he has um, two, uh, two tiles here. Uh, 
I don't know if there's any purpose to it, though. Yeah, there's, like, no purpose, so. Oh, well. <clears throat> Unless there's something in there. Space bar map, my favorite. Okay. Let's start with a direction and go that way. So, yeah, um... I've I've talked with people on one of the Pure ZC discords, and um, I mean it it's it, it sounds like there really aren't many Zelda Classic Let's Players. I always thought that there was a number of them, but um, like Epi apparently has stopped doing them. All that's left is uh, Melee Wizard and SC Knuckles. There was Pure uh, Pixcalibur, but. I also have wondered where he went. He just dropped off the face of the earth, apparently. But, um, other people have said that he tends to take breaks, so that's probably what it is. So I thought maybe I'd go back to this. I don't know. Welcome to the Soul House! I collect the souls of common enemies. Oh, interesting. Whenever you kill one, they have a, sm <clears throat> they have a small chance of dropping their soul. Read the book over here to check out the souls you've managed to find so far. This is just for fun. You won't get any, anything from finding them all. Apart from a huge feeling of satisfaction, obviously. Oh, no. I hope this doesn't count under the definition of 100%. <clears throat> oh, boy. I hope there's not multiple pages. Press start to leave. Oh, wait, this is start button. <clears throat> Sorry, I am sick, and it's actually really irritating. <clears throat> Crap. Just try to act like that's not happening. Sword beam's off the bat. Nice. But anyway, yeah, um, the reason I haven't been doing them isn't because I haven't wanted to. Not by any means. It's just because Zelda Classic... So, it's, it's always been a weird thing. Oh, wait, okay, I can drown. Um... Zelda Classic was always my favorite thing on the channel. It was the thing that I loved the most, and um, what I've been doing for channel growth is Clash of Clans. And by no means do I like Clash of Clans more than Zelda Classic. Like I said, it was always my favorite. Cool. Perfect. Thanks so much for that. Um, but it never really netted any channel growth. I mean, very small. So I, I guess I can't say it didn't get us any... Ooh, Boomerang. I can't say it didn't get us any channel growth, but <clears throat> what it did get us was extremely minor compared to uh, Clash of Clans. And I'm I'm really pushing for 1,000 subscribers. I think currently we have like 966 or something like that, 968. Um, that matters because I would like to start making some money off of YouTube, but, um, you know, because an extra source of income would be very nice. Um, and believe me, if Zelda Classic, uh, netted any channel growth, I would have been doing it with Zelda Classic, and I would have loved it. Not to say I don't enjoy Clash of Clans, I just enjoy it far less than I do Zelda Classic. Um, but, you know, I guess I've been doing a lot of that lately, I'll decide to take a little break. By one of my wonderful potions, they will restore up to five hearts. Ooh, neat. I don't have money. For a second, I was actually like, why can't I get it? And then, oh, yeah, that's right. It costs money. Ouch. No, oh, we got uh, Ocarina of Time uh, injury sound effects. <clears throat> injury sound effects, rather. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I figured if I do... So, my attitude with this YouTube channel for... Well, since the very beginning, it was just do whatever I want. Who cares about channel growth? So I would just be playing quests that um, I thought looked fun instead of, you know, ones that were popular. So I guess I've, I've decided to uh, change it a little bit. Plus, I mean, you know, this quest, the quests I have are popular for a reason. They have to be good. At least I would think so. Ordered some great items, but they haven't arrived yet. Feel free to browse anyway. Browse your one, two, rupee heart. All right. But, yeah, that's what I figured, so... Maybe this playing more popular quests will help. We'll see. But I, I'm not expecting anything. This is purely for fun. Um, I hope what few people who watch this actually enjoy it. 
Mr. Shovel's House of Fun. Pay the fee and I'll let you dig holes in my cellar for 15 seconds. Keep whatever you find. Okay. What's this? Well, there is a world map. Uh, a spacebar map. So I do know that this is here. I'll wait a little bit on that. Ooh, our Moses. Ropes. But anyway, yeah, um... As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I haven't played much for Zelda Classic, but I have been working on my... My quest. <clears throat> the one I'm developing. And it's been going well. Um, I haven't really gotten too much of, like, actual... Um, overworlds or dungeons done. Uh, I do have the op the opening overworld, or the more mini overworld. There will be um, two big, o two full overworlds and one small one. I have the smaller one done, and the reason I got that done was because, uh, well, you know, I needed somewhere to start. And also, it's essentially the overworld from my mini quest. So technically, you could consider the current quest I'm developing as my second quest, since. That first one was a quest, a full quest. Well, not a full quest, it only takes like two hours to beat. Cartographer. Ooh, treasure maps. Treasure myself, making maps is more fun. Make new maps, say, drop by regularly, yeah. Oh, wow! That is an awesome mechanic! Wow, a hidden guy! Huh. That is cool. All right. Great to know. You might want to put the word treasure on the house's name. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't remember how old this quest is. That is an awesome mechanic. I love that. That is the first time I've ever seen that. You say nothing. Er, um how to say um, please call outside what? Seems that old man Rira is shy. Per we got phone guy. We've got phone guy from uh, Glory Squad. Or maybe this was before Glory Squad? I don't know. All I know is we got a phone guy. Oh yeah. So great. I wonder if he is literally phone guy from my, uh, from Glory Squad where... Yep, alright. I'll find phones around the game and that's when he'll give me hints. <clears throat> that is funny. Also, just the concept of there being a phone system, telephone system, in a land where there are no phone lines. So let's just <laughs> let's uh, not think about that. Uh, Rara is at your service. Ask me anything about Hyrule. If you get lost, give me a call. First feather is in a purple temple. Can't get in? Ask Armos. Bye. All right. So I need to unearth an Armos to uh, get into this purple temple, which is apparently level one. <clears throat> game, another game already. Two games. Challenge me in an arm wrestling contest. Just sit on the stool. Is this a button spamming? Mash A button. Yep. Mashing A. You win. Okay. Come back later to face stronger. Is this a difficulty increaser? I think this is a difficulty, uh, thing. You can modify the difficulty. So did I just make it harder? Make the game harder? Do these enemies take two hits? Oh, please don't let the tech type take two hits. Oh, thank God. That would have... I would not have reverted that change, but I would not have been happy. <clears throat> I hate tech types. And I don't think I would have needed to say that for that to become apparent. Uh, well, I need bombs. You know, I really should check everything here. <clears throat> Especially when you've got a guy who's literally giving hints for treasure. I'd imagine um, the creator was a bit harder on, like, where stuff is hidden. Since, you know, eventually you'll be able to get a straight up... Uh, it's not even really a hint, it's just like, hey, there's treasure right there. <clears throat> Although, I mean, you do need to find the room where it is, so... I suppose it is a hint, I guess. Well, so far I haven't found anything I can really do aside from a game. Um, 
let me, ooh. Let me actually get, oh, you have found the soul of a red rope. Hey, I like that idea. That's, that's cool. I want to get a good look at the screen. I don't know if it's a screen that I've seen already. Definitely not. There's mountains in there. Burn. Okay, I can't tell what that surface that it's on. It almost looks like maybe sand? I don't know. So, there's a, a ladder up to the mountains. So, I haven't even seen mountains yet. So, I can't worry about that yet. Well, can do I get hurt if I touch this from below? I do not. Okay. Alright, well that did nothing. I, I didn't know if there would be anything. Okay, well... This route got me nowhere in there, that is. Here we go. Well, this is a dead end. Unless this is a barren eyeball. Ah, crap. I wasn't... I don't know what happened there. I wonder if that tree on the far right there, that spiky one, is a burnable. Kind of stands out a bit. Well, let's get a good look here. So, left takes me left. Middle takes me middle. And middle right takes me right. Okay, there is an Armos in there. Well, that's weird. The hint said, Ask Armos? So it might not be a simple wake him up. It might actually, I might literally ask an Armos. Okay, so this takes me that way. Ooh. Bomb! I don't have it though, you need a bomb bag. Alrighty. I like this music. I really like this music. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I want you. Okay, so that's how the... Uh, that is good to know, that that's how the boomerang functions. Okay. Arrows, you need a quiver. Ah, here we are. Ask Armos. So I'm assuming there's a switch under one of these Armoses. There is money, so it's the other Armos. Ooh, yes. Wow, that is... That is a cool-looking, uh... Dungeon uh, aesthetic. I like that. Okay. So, standard, uh... 20, 25 minute episodes, I think, would be fair. Well, great. Okay, so this is the way to the dungeon. So, let's check the other side. I should be able to get to, um, at least the entrance of the dungeon in this episode, hopefully. I mean, that leaves me, like, six minutes, which is a lot of time. Yeah, well, all right. With where I was going, I don't think I... With how I was going, I would not have been able to avoid that. At least the Tektites can be injured... Can be hit while in air. That's always the worst when they can't be. Hold on, there is an Armos that's just kind of in the middle there. Also, I can't get hit on the edge of the screen. Good to know. I wonder if this is another secret. Check Armos. Hold on. Where do... I can't get over there. Can I? No, I can't get over there from where I am here. Yeah, well, alright. I think I could have avoided that, but... I felt trapped. Kleisterphobia. Alright, so I can... Go oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Dang it. 
Africa. I would like a heart, please. Really? Really? I hate tectites. Oh, no. <clears throat> Not good. Don't stand on them. Actually, ooh, I didn't even think about that. That's an issue I'd like to fix in my quest. I can't do anything. I would like where if you kill an enemy while standing on them, you take damage. I assume it's because there's a like a frame or something where the enemy is no longer stunned. And it hurts you. I'd like to see if there's a way to avoid that. Can I do anything here? I mean, I don't have any other items. I need to get here. To do that, I need to get there. To do that, I need to get there. Oh, how did I miss that? I gotta go up. <clears throat> Just like that, yeah, right there. I had him stunned, but I still took damage. Yeah, I knew it would be the last star most that would make the most sense. <laughs> I would like to see if there's a way to not have that happen. Yep, a switch under an armos. Just what I thought. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah, I do have to say, it feels good to get back into Zelda Classic, because like I said, like, ever since day one of this YouTube channel, or I should say, well, yeah, day one, since that is when I started doing uh, videos, um, this was always the thing I enjoyed the most. Also, how do I get up there? That's how. <clears throat> so it feels really good to get back to my YouTube roots. Especially considering, I think... I, I downloaded three quests. And I think this was uh, the one that said it's pretty pretty big. Uh, a pretty large dun uh, uh, quest. And that made... That made my case for playing it even stronger. Shadow Temple. Oh, we've got, uh, light mechanics. Oh, well, that's not walkable water. This will be interesting. Clues have been left on these panels. Make sure to read them. All right. Well, oh, I see that key. Oh, I, I was going to say, can I grab that already? Um, all right, yeah, so I'll end this episode here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit shorter. Well, 23 minutes isn't bad. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.